A video of soldiers from North Korea has appeared on social media. Eyewitnesses filmed their exercise, presumably at the training ground in the village of Sergeyevka in Primorsky Krai. This is 35 kilometers from the border with North Korea. There's millions of them here. It's a new reinforcements. According to South Korean intelligence, 1,500 troops have already been transported from North Korea to Vladivostok by four landing vessels and three escort ships. The next unit is expected to be transferred soon. In total, Pyongyang plans to send 12,000 soldiers to Russia's war against Ukraine, South Korea's National Intelligence Service said. The country's president held an emergency security meeting. The current situation where Russia and North Korea's closer ties have gone beyond the movement of military supplies to actual dispatch of troops is a grave security threat not only to our country, but to the international community. Yoon Sok Yul, president of South Korea from a Reuters publication. In June 2024, Putin and Kim Jong-un signed a comprehensive strategic partnership treaty in Pyongyang. There is also a clause on mutual military assistance. Pyongyang already supplies Moscow with artillery shells and missiles. Now it is also sending soldiers. This shows that the Russian Ministry of Defense is unable to compensate for the large-scale losses of the Russian army, says the head of the intelligence of the Estonian Defense Forces. He is sure that Moscow is becoming increasingly dependent on its partners. This gives Iran and North Korea the opportunity to demand from Russia exclusive security guarantees or technological information that has remained unavailable until now and that these countries will be able to use in the future. Also, servicemen fighting in Ukraine or the Russian Federation will gain military experience they can use against their neighbors in the region. Ans Kiviselk, head of the Intelligence Center of the Estonian Defense Forces. The information that the North Korea has sent its military to the Russian Federation was also confirmed by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. From our intelligence, we've got information that North Korea sent technical personnel and officers to Ukraine on temporary occupied territories. And they are preparing on their land 10,000 soldiers, but they didn't move them already to Ukraine or to, to Russia. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization has no evidence yet of sending military personnel from North Korea to Russia to take part in the war against Ukraine, the NATO Secretary General has said. Brussels is studying the situation in close contact with South Korea, as well as with other colleagues from Pacific region, Mark Rutte said. We do know that North Korea is supporting Russia in many ways by weapon supplies, technological supplies, uh, innovation uh, to support them in the war effort. And that is highly worrying. According to South Korean intelligence information, North Korean servicemen in the Russian Federation are stationed at military bases in Vladivostok, Usurisk, Khabarovsk and Blagoveshensk. After training, they will be sent to the front. In the meantime, soldiers from North Korea have been given Russian military uniforms and Russian-made weapons, as well as fake IDs of residents of Yakutia and Buryatia. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.